I see um, you in a photo with Pastor Troy. Yeah, 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 man, Pastor, we, we have a, a unique type of relationship where um, Pastor doing his thing, you know, he, he dropped the whole thing about Master P, even though C. Myrtle, you know, ran them off stage and that whole thing happened however, man, big shots out of C. Myrtle. He was riding on his highway doing his thing, you know what I'm saying? He just created GSDB. Pastor Troy and GSGB have taken control of Jam Session here in the squad. Right before that happened, man, um, this guy named Blackout, he was one of the artists of DSGB, but we know him as Mikey. He moved down to College Park Project, and he hung around one of the members of the Untouchable, my partner, Sniper, Dunny. Mikey was also a fan of the Untouchable, and with that being said, he ended up taking a, you know, a, 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 a verse out of one of the members of the Untouchable songs and putting it on a DSGB record with Pastor Troy. It was Little Pippin' verse, you know. Blackout sung it, and not only did he rap his his lyrics, but he also said his name. Like Pippin said, Pippin's in here. Iceberg Slim sank in Titanic. So everybody thought that he was just saying pimping in here, like, you know, pimping in here, Iceberg Slim. No, he was saying his name. That's his name in the rap. That's, your partner name. That's my partner name. So he was saying my partner name in the rap too. He just flowed it. So, you know, time, time, you know, went on or whatever. I get a call from, from one of my uncles. He's on the um, barbershop at the time right in Riverdale. He said, man, guess who down here in a chair? I said, who? He like, Pastor Troy. <laughs> he knew the situation. That's why he was calling me. So I'm like, for real, man, I'm finna come down. Now I'm on the way. You know, I was by myself. You know, I'm scrapped up. But I'm by myself. You know how I rock. Nigga, I don't need no goons or that. So he said, no, nah, no, nah, nephew, man. You just can't bust in here like that, man. You can't bust in here and be like, you know, just barge in. He don't know that somebody called from the barbershop. So I'm like, all right, then he like, just come in here, like you get a haircut. You know, he don't know we're related. Just sit on down, sit in my chair. So I'm like, okay. So I, <laughs> I go down to the barbershop, shop, and uh, I walk through the door, Pastor Trust sitting right there. You know, yeah, yeah, you know, G A G B, you know, yeah, yeah, you know. <laughs> so, so I sit down, man, I sit down, sit in my office chair. You know, he put the thing, he put the thing on me, you know. And I'm sitting right there, man, and I'm like, what's, oh, what's up, Troy, man? How you doing, man? What's going on, man? Oh, what, what, what's going on? What, what's going on, hood? So I'm like, what's up, man? I'm Capone of the Untouchables, man. He was like, oh, yeah, man, what's up, man? I fuck with y'all. No, no. I know I met with y'all, man. Y'all cool, man. Y'all cool, cat, man. Like that. I said, yeah, I appreciate that, man. You know, likewise with you, man. But, you know, I want to share something with you, man. He was like, what's going on, huh? I said, man, we know uh, Blackout, right? You know, Mikey. He was like, yeah, yeah, you're a black guy. That's my boy, you know? I said, well, man, uh, that verse right here, and I played it for him. This verse right here that he rapped on GSGB, that comes from the Untouchables. And we did this, you know, two, three years ago. You know, he was a little nigga, you know. So I played it for him, you know, and he jumped up at first. When he first, you know, he jumped up, he first heard, like, hold on, man, what you trying to tell me? They might. I said, I got out of the chair, too. Like, hey, bro, I'm telling you, you just heard it right here, man. Nigga, we did this two years ago. They showed him the copyright. Show home the copyright right there, man. We did this, man. He told this verse, man. He came to Kyler Paul. He was a little homie. So how did I end up going in the barbershop with you and Troy? How did, how did I end up, end, end up ending? Oh, uh, once he, you know, once he, you know, he, you know, he seen that, that there was no way out of that. You know what I'm saying? He um said, man, you know, I'm going to have to take stripes from home. Man. I'm going to have to take some, some of them stripes. <laughs> Some of them strikes off home shoulder, man. Hey, man, hey, check this out, man. Here go, here go my number, man. Give me a call tomorrow, man. We're going to get together, man. This damn fans of y'all in the way, man. You know, untouchable, man. Boom, boom, college so, part. So, so he gave you his personal so, number? So he gave me his personal number. So I'm like, cool, you know. I respected him all day. You know what I'm saying? Cool, man. This down to earth dude. You know, he kept it real. He understood. That was all about. It's about understanding. He understood. So about two or three days later, I called us and I'm gonna go ahead and call Troy, man, see what's going on. Maybe we can work together. You know, I'm working on a lot of stuff, you know what I'm saying? Maybe we can work together. I called Hello. Sounded just like on that Master P thing. Like, Hello, this be the P. Yeah. <laughs> he said, the dude sounded just like that. Hello. I'm like, man, what's going on, man? Where Troy at, man? 
It was like, who, who is this? Who is this? I'm like, man, this Don Tree, man, they done knock, man. Capone. I ain't touch him, man. I talked to him yesterday. He gave me the number. He like, oh, oh, oh. This his brother. <laughs> Voyage and Chain. Voyage and Chain right here. Oh, oh, this his brother, man. He ain't in, in right now, man. He had went out of town to Savannah, man. When he get back, man, I'm going to let him know that you called. You said Capone of the Untouchable, right? Yeah, man. And he hung up the phone, man. About two days later, as I called Holmes again. Man, Holmes had got his number chain, man. But I ran through two, though. But listen, though. By two or three years, maybe a little longer than that, I ran into him. I ran into home downtown at one of these pizza real joints, me and Bangladesh go. You know what I'm saying? And you know, I ain't wanna, you know, I'm, when, I, when I'm with Bangladesh, I be on black hat operations. So I be having to focus on him, you know what I'm saying? So, but I see him track. I didn't see him until Bang, we walked through the pizza joint. Bangladesh is like, hey, tree, that was that nigga Troy right there. <laughs> And when he say that, I look over there. Then that one try to see me and bang together, you know what I'm saying? So he speak, what's up, man? I'm like, what's up, truck? He like, what's going on? I'm like, man, you don't even remember me, though. Straight like that. He was like, yeah, man, Capone, untouchable, man. For real. And I was like, all right, bro, I was just checking, man, you good? He was like, yeah, I'm good. Like, I'm good, too, bro. And then, see, I ain't want to do nothing because I went on my own time. You know what I'm saying? Time, people pay for time when it come to me. <laughs> so I was on another nigga time, you know what I'm saying? But that real talk, man, Troy, them, man, them four had them stole that, man. See, let me ask you this, though. How'd y'all get the photo together? The photo came after I done seen him with Bang, you know, and he know that, you know, where we stand at. Like, nigga, you know, you got the number chain, homie. But we was at an award ceremony, man, and Pastor Troy right now. So I was like, man, let's get a picture, you know. We got a little picture, man. But it's all love, though. You know, Troy, no, you know. I don't tell them real shit on the hill. This is what we do, man. They have a relationship today, y'all. I mean, they ain't quite a relationship. Yeah, yeah, it ain't quite no relationship. We see but Troy today. What we like. see Troy today. We know it just what's up, what's going on. And, you know, we dap it up, you know. If we want to talk about working together, we work together. If not, if not, but, you know, he know where we stand at, too. Uh, you know, our little bit. You know, I got a lot, you know, got a lot of them to shoot out to a lot of people, too. <laughs>